Josh Harris scored two second-half touchdowns as Wake Forest came from behind to defeat Army 25-11 at Mikey Stadium on Saturday afternoon. The Black Knights got on the board first in this one as Richard Glover tackled Harris in the end zone for a safety in the first quarter. The Demon Deacons then would score 10 straight points, highlighted by a 66-yard catch and run by wide receiver Michael Campanero. Army then would score nine straight points on three field goals from Daniel Grochowski from 39, 32, and 32 yards out. Though with the Black Knights leading 11 to 10, Wake Forest would mount a drive late in the third quarter, which would culminate in a 15-yard touchdown run by Harris. The Demon Deacons then would put the game out of reach in the fourth quarter on Harris's second touchdown run of the game. Scott, sure, there's, there's, there's more than a point. Obviously, there's some opportunities we have in the first half where, you know, if we're just if we're better with the football and we, because we, we really we we handle some really adverse situations. You know, we're, we've got them on their heels a little bit. Uh, we, our defense has them on their heels a little bit. Uh, we, uh, 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 and we survive some some horrendous stuff that you know could have gotten away from us early, and we hang in there and hang in there, and then like I say, we battle back and get the get a lead in the third quarter it's 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 a uh, we're doing some things defensively that are a little bit off the, off the beaten track and that was being effective and, and but we, they looked at it for too long the, some of those wrinkles I, I i guess what i want to say is maybe some of those wrinkles that we were trying to to uh, compensate for some personnel challenges the wrinkles were harder for us than they were for our opponent uh but frankly in the offensive line at least that's um we, we were able to keep it pretty consistent for those guys we kicked three field goals in, in safety, that that it, that's that's going to make it hard to win a division one game. The whole thing is exacerbated by an opponent who really understands what they're looking at. You know, they there's no mystery about what we do offensively to those guys. They're they're they've run that offense in their past. They know exactly what they're looking at. They prepare well for it. So again, some of those personnel challenges we had again playing a, a gifted opponent. They're 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 good up front. They really are. Obviously, the Whitlock guy is a little nightmare, and. Uh, um, that, that, you know, so again, it was just a little bit of a perfect storm. However, the turnovers and the penalties don't need to be in our way. It's definitely disappointing, you know, coming off of, you know, sh you know, somewhat strong performance against Stafford and coming and play how we did today. We're, we're definitely tremendously better than what we showed today. Larry are tremendous players, you know, they're a big part of this offense, but we are, we have depth at those positions. And as, I mean, what it comes down to is we went out there and we didn't execute. Execution killed a lot of our momentum. Uh, false starts in the middle of drives and the end of drives. So I mean, we we get those out of our game. We we get small plays. We don't necessarily need big plays. Our offense isn't built on big plays. It's built on continual four, five, ten yard gains. And when we don't execute, when we get false starts in critical situations, I mean that that hurts. The win improves Wake Forest to 2-2 two and two on the season. The Black Knights fall to 1-3 and three, and will next be in action next Saturday at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas against Louisiana Tech. But the final score here at Mikey Stadium, Wake Forest defeats Army 25-11. For Night Vision, I'm Rich DeMarco.